on this. Yeah, the new Kirby was good. I liked it. Well, I like most of the games today. We'll see. So when I played this in Triple Deluxe, I thought it was pretty shit. <laughs> but we'll see. This is a pretty dull rhythm game. I don't think they're gonna magically fix that. Let me read this a little carefully here. Do super jump on landing, a high jump. So if you do these in a row, you get bigger jumps. So if some of these don't have ends or it's just like ridiculous shit, um, we'll stop at seeing all the significant content. Like the fighting game, I think you just run through like a classic uh, Smash Brothers style campaign. Just like, you know, eight or nine stages real quick. Like maybe we'll do it twice with different, you know, weapons or something or not. I mean, I've already ran through it on Triple Deluxe. The backbeat. Um, so there's six levels. I don't know how many there are total. Turn it up a bit. Kill these guys. <laughs> it's gotta be one of the shittiest rhythm games I've played. It's not even like a good rhythm thing. You have to press the jump button far before you even get to the ground. I, mean, I guess you're supposed to be getting coins, not just going for the biggest jump. Play, yeah, play. At some point. I turn this up a little bit. So yeah, this one sucks. I would say so far, <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> it's like 20, 30 minutes long, dude. Kirby was a mistake. <laughs> Come on, man. Nice, dude. We beat it. Well, I guess we're just gonna play each song once. That's. I'm not like. There's. I'm not. There's. I'm not setting some points goal here. Um. So yeah. So far, you don't even really go on the the rhythm. I mean, you do jump on the rhythm, but you get like full movement. And you're like going back and forth, so... I guess it's a little different in that you're not just constantly moving forward. But that kind of momentum is kind of what's fun about a lot of rhythm games. I mean, you do have to pick... How big a jumps you want, I guess. The thing is, the songs are just going to repeat infinitely. It's like just a timed thing. I 
I guess the big goal is to just make it to the end. You do have health. I don't even have to hit the jump button here. It's not even like good with rhythm because you have to press the button far before you hit the ground. If you try to hit it like right at the bottom, you end up missing more often than not. I press it like when I'm halfway down. So it's rhythm in the. Like when he hits, it's on rhythm, but when you press the button, it's not, so it's very unsatisfying. <laughs> I'm not doing any backbeats. See me. This is a good song. Are they all just going to be triple deluxe songs? You're going to have a rhythm fucking Kirby game and not whip out like the Halberd song or Dinah song? Maybe they will. Maybe these are just the ones from triple deluxe. I only played one song on triple deluxe's version of this. Nice dude. We will take a break from Kirby to do Tearaway Unfolded when that comes in the mail. Might be tomorrow. Which is an old Vita game um, that got a PS4 release like seven years ago. Before that, ever kind of they lose stock in my rental pl uh, service. I like to play that while I got the chance. It's supposed to be it was supposed to be decent back then. Cool. This is totally like, <laughs> I mean, it is just like a whatever mini game, right? That's how it was in Triple Deluxe. I think it's just funny that this is like a f for money standalone version of it. For seven bucks, dude. Imagine what you can get for seven bucks on Steam. Or you could get this fucking DDD rhythm game. That's composed of like 80% triple deluxe original music. Which that's 
outside of a couple songs aren't even that good. This is a remix of a classic one. I'd rather just listen to the original though. The strings, brother, the strings. I like the Kirby Air Ride version of this song. Could have put racing in the title, but I don't actually plan on replaying Air Ride anytime soon. Someday. Maybe if we actually finish all these games, I'll replay that to accurately put it like a fucking tier list or some shit for fun. Cause I know I like the city mode and shit, but I don't remember how good of an actual racer it was. Everybody just plays the city mode. Because you're not playing through a whole song, you're just playing it infinitely, or not infinitely, you know, with the timer. It also just makes you not give as many shits about no damage the music. You're just playing with the same percussion beat the whole time. It's not as exciting. Oh shit, good music. Superstar version? I've only heard the Ultra version, which might be slightly different. I think it's not. The Halberd song. Okay. There's more levels, right? <laughs> the fucking music. Like I just got trolled playing this game or something. Nice dude. Well, that was a 10 minute game. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a cheap game, but this game should be like a dollar, man. Seven's pretty rich for a game like this, because it's Kirby. I mean, most of the songs are Triple Deluxe music, unchanged from Triple Deluxe gameplay and everything. Like, if you're gonna put this standalone, add like 20 plus songs in from the old games. It's not even that great of a rhythm game concept in the first place. Like, it's okay, but it's not as... Like, like it's... Okay, conceptually it's not too bad. You're doing like platforming, you can go back and forth. It's not about finishing the song, it's about just getting the points and making it through the stage. But it's just not as satisfying as like a proper rhythm thing, where you're going with the music. Yeah, this almost is like a kazoo remix. Like, hey, thanks for the seven bucks, brothers. Like it's some troll version. Nice. Yeah, this would be like a dollar game. 
Totally fine for a buck or two. I mean, you just replay these songs and get better scores. Like, they couldn't even spring for more. Yeah, you don't listen to the whole song. Well, the song just repeats. I don't even think it's the whole song or not. Yeah, you don't listen to the whole song. It doesn't- it's looped, which just sucks. Because you probably get more points for finishing it quicker. There's only six. Most of them are triple deluxe, like I said, other than the very last one, which is like a proper... The old Halberd one, which is the best one. That's just like... The only thing that somewhat saves it, dude, is the fucking price tag. Oh. A bonus? Have a bonus level as a reward. Secret levels. Super difficult. Secret. No, they're the same songs, just slightly harder. We'll play the new song, but I'm not gonna play it. The other one. Yeah, me move a lot quicker in this one. And they changed the BPM in this, man. It's so fucking awkward. And he just, like, falls really quickly? It's like, you do have to go with the B, but it's like, fuck. Also, looking at, like, two screens for this is so fucking awkward, man. The Kazoo Remix. Yeah, the upper, upper screen of obstacles. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass for sure. Like, you, like, the feeling of momentum and, like, moving on as the song's going is, like, just such a cool part about rhythm games. Like this, like these, like, linear style ones. Like, I think it's a fine idea to, like, go back and forth, but yeah, it's like, you want to keep just rolling, dude. I mean, you get stuff like OC that's more about just clearing shit, but that has, like, a flow to it as well. doesn't have as much of like a flow.
so much shit in the way. Okay, there was our bonus song on. I mean, it's a cute way to try to make rhythm game like difficult in a different way, having like platforming obstacles. It just feels awkward, man. It's just not. It's not about the rhythm, right? It's about dodging obstacles and doing like funky high jumps that happen to be on a very basic like drumline beat or whatever the fuck. To every song. You're not doing like rhythm, like, you know, complicated rhythms to the music. It's just boosh, boosh, boosh. Yeah. Pretty shit, I'd say overall. Mask DDD. That's great. Well, that's, uh, we're done with that. There's the dancing fucking what's her face. Switch games out. Just knock out some of the dog shit ones.